Hey YouTube, Johnny Valentine with Gain Solar out here. This is uh, one, of the, really one of the best energy saving projects we've done all year. This is a new construction passive solar home. It's uh, It's got passive solar design, which is all the windows that you see on the south side. And you see that distinct shade line going across about halfway. So this is a passive solar house. It's 2,000 square feet, new construction, super insulated. It's got uh, energy recovery ventilation. It's got a mini split. It's got a 6.85 kW active solar array, which was installed by Gain Solar, yours truly. It's constantly recycling all the air throughout the house. So you don't have any spots where they're uh, hot and cool. Each room is exchanging air with another room. And then they've got a, the house is so tight, they've got an ERV, which exchanges the indoor air with the outdoor air without uh, having you know a big swing in temperature or a drop in efficiency so really great design here for these folks these folks are you know they're looking at retirement and being on a fixed income and they wanted to build a house that they would never have to move out of so this is it 2,000 square feet 2,000 square feet of passive solar love here's our solar array uh, inverter it's a solar Ray 7600 inverter She's sitting ready for that uh, Tesla power or the solar uh, storage by solar edge which will be the inverter that works with the power wall these people are thinking about a electric car later on and then you can just barely hear that mini split running it's just barely running looking good there so the mini splits cool in the house and heating the house and um, then they're also going to be heating the house with these windows you see all these windows on the south side. Each one of these windows is going to act like a heater in the wintertime. The sun's going to come in. It's going to strike the concrete floor, which is an insulated thermal mass. And the concrete floor is going to get charged with the sun's energy. It's going to store all the BTUs, and it's going to release those BTUs when they're needed into the house in the wintertime. Uh, it's, it's like having a thermal battery. So one of the things with passive solar design is you want to minimize your north windows and more importantly your east and west windows because you tend to overheat in the afternoons in the summertime. They have one window on the west side of this house. And you know, I, I go into a lot of houses where people are just cooking. And when we really get down to what the problem is, it's uh, a window that faces west because of a view or, or something and it's just heating the house up so hot in the summer that the air conditioner can't keep up with it. So I'm gonna go in through the garage door, kind of show you how this house is laid out. This is coming from the north to the south, so here's the great room. They have a bunch of windows, nice little view. So one of the tricks to this is the north walls have closets, so they have these insulated spaces by the nature of the closet. Through wall ventilation, so they can, they can actively change the air throughout the whole structure. There's one of them. There's the switch. So you don't end up with any hot or cool spots because you're constantly cycling the air through the house. Here's another one. This house is super insulated. They've got a ton of blown cellulose up in the attic. And they also have uh, none of their duct work is running because they have mini splits. None of the duct work is in the attic. So then that gives them uh, added efficiency. All they have is a line set of refrigerant going from this to the outdoor part. And they don't have a lot of losses. So like I said, this room, the way it's going to work is it's going to be like a thermal storage battery. The sun's going to come in in the winter time. It's going to heat up this tile over concrete slab, and the slab is going to absorb the BTUs from the sun and release it uh, at the end of the day when the sun goes down and heat the space and radiate into the space. It's also going to act as a buffer because if in a conventional stick frame house, if you had this many windows, this room would overheat. But because of the slab's ability to absorb heat, it's going to absorb a lot of BTUs and uh, make the room still feel comfortable. And vice versa in the summertime, it keeps the room cooler. So once again, showing some cool features of the house. Another really cool feature they have is a uh, safe room. 
So this is a closet, but it, do, it uh, doubles as a safe room. Extra thick walls, super reinforced, and this is for tornadoes or any kind of storm. So they built a safe room into, into the closet. Very cool feature. So I'm really proud of these folks. They gave this house a lot of thought, and they're gonna they're gonna really insulate themselves from power bills going up. I, I venture to say this is gonna be one of the lowest power bill houses uh, among all my customers. So another cool feature of this house, this is the meter base. We have a went ahead and pre-wired it with a generator inlet plug. So this generator inlet plug is 50 amps. It's a lot of power at 240. Notice it's a female, that's or it's a male, so that you have to come at it with a female plug. So you have to use a generator cord, you're not using a suicide cord. So the generator plug feeds into this breaker, and the grid feeds into this breaker. So these, these, this is called an interlock kit. So at any time if this breaker is up, this one has to be off, and vice versa. So what this allows them to do is they have a little sub panel, and all of their critical loads that they need to run their house off of, they can instantly plug up, a, or they can instantly switch over to run it off the generator and plug up a portable generator, and the house is generator ready. So you see a lot of automatic transfer switches out there with the big generators. This is how you another way to hook up a portable generator to a house. This is the remote for the mini split air conditioner. And as you can see, it has a lot more buttons than the up, down, mode, and program buttons on your typical HVAC thermostat. So this is the thermostat. But this also allows them to do all kinds of features. They, got, they have different modes, heating, cooling. I think you can make it follow wherever the remote is. It'll blow at you. You can uh, control how the fan blows. It's got the econo cool features. So if you've got one of those houses where in the, those uh, early spring and late, or early spring and fall, Times you can't really run your air conditioning, but it gets too humid. A mini split's a great thing. It eliminates that problem because it can speed and slow up, slow up and slow down the compressor, and allow you to dehumidify your space without making it super cold in here. I re man, I really love this ventilation system. Balance out the, balance out every room. That's awesome. So, a lot of thought went into this house. It's got a solar edge inverter and a mini split, everything in between. There's that 6.8 kW, it's a Neva solar array, flush mounted to the roof, solar edge 7600 inverter. She's just a cranking away, folks. You call me, I'll tell you, or you can take it, take my word for it right now. The quickest way to get an ROI on your house is designed at Passive Solar. These folks have saved themselves a ton of money. And uh, it's a very simple way to design your house. Thanks for watching. Like us, follow us, watch us.